Hello. Today I'm here to talk about three simple Chrome extensions and apps for writers. If you're a writer, or even if you find yourself needing to write a lot in the course of your other daily duties like I do, then I think that you'll find that these extensions can all help make your life a little easier. So let's get started by heading over to the Chrome Web Store. So we're going to start with a personal favorite of mine, which is aptly called Writer. So search for Writer in the Chrome Web Store search bar, and then click on the Install button right here to start installing it. Once it's installed, open it up. You'll need to access it with your Google account, and then give it permission to access that account. Now, you've got a totally distraction-free, really cool retro interface for writing right from within your Chrome browser. Saving files is easy because the program does it automatically, or you can click on the save icon down here to save, and then access your saved files by clicking this menu here. You also have the option to export your files by clicking here, and then choosing whether you'd like a text file, a PDF, or if you'd like to export the data a few other ways online. One other really cool feature is that you can come up here to set a daily goal for your writing. So I'm going to set this to 1,000 words, and then it will track me as I write, helping to keep me accountable and on track for my goals. There are even more features available with the Pro paid version, so if you really like this app, that might be worth exploring as well. Next up, let's talk about LightWrite. So these are all going to install in basically the same way. So you're just going to search for LightWrite and then jump through the normal installation hoops for products downloaded from the Chrome Web Store. This is a similar writing app to Writer, but I would classify this as aimed more specifically at note-taking. You can start a new note by clicking on this plus icon up here, and as soon as you start the note, it will give it a heading in the left-hand column over here, which you can later use to navigate between notes. I like the very modern, very clean interface here, as opposed to the more retro look you get in Writer, although it's really a matter of personal preference. I did want to point out one very cool and unique feature up here, which is the ability to specify your own storage with your notes, so that you are truly in control over your own data. This is a really nice touch that those of us who are prickly about where our information is stored might be very interested in. Finally, let's take a look at an extension instead of an app. This is called Papier, and we'll start as usual by searching for it and installing it from the Chrome Web Store. Now, because this is an extension rather than an app, once it's installed, you'll notice its icon up here in the extension toolbar. Then, if you want to see what it does, you can try clicking on it. Here you'll see the type of window Papier activates, along with some commands and instructions for using the extension. So let's erase this. Now imagine you're reading your email, and you find something that you'd like to make a note of. With Papier active, all I have to do is open a new tab, and then type into the blank screen. Then if I close my tab and continue browsing, only to want to add a second note later on, I just open another new tab, and I'm ready to continue my note taking. You can use this menu down here to print or adjust the formatting of your notes, and you can follow a running word count in the lower right-hand corner. Hopefully you find these apps and extensions helpful during your next writing project. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.